Hey, this is Don Greer from www.athskansas.org and we're here today at truck show at the uh, Kansas Oil Museum in El Dorado, Kansas and we're taking a break from shooting pictures of old trucks to uh, showing you some of the fascinating exhibits that exist inside the museum if you're in Kansas or if you're coming through Kansas I would uh, highly recommend you coming by El Dorado and uh, I, th I think you'll be surprised uh, we've got a, probably got a, I'm going to have a bigger overview of the museum if you go back to the El Dorado show last year on the album page at athskansas.org but uh, now that I have a video camera I thought we'd go back highlight some of the exhibits that would benefit from motion video and starting here we have the old uh, model of the old style wooden derricks and what I didn't realize till I visited the museum last year which fascinated me that oil drilling was not always done with a rotary type drill that you're probably familiar with that a bit that goes down into the ground on the end of the pipe and spins around just like a a, uh, a home uh, black and decker wood drill going into the ground before you had that essentially you had a uh, pointed metal weight that would be dropped up and down repeatedly into the same hole till it eventually made a hole in the earth. And uh, uh, imagine taking a plumb bob or something like that on the end of a string and just dropping it in the same spot in the ground over and over and over again until you made a hole in the ground and you kind of have the idea and this type of well I believe was still operating see if I can find a reference back into maybe as late as the 60s well if you look at the uh, construction here and how this works you still have the familiar tall derrick for moving pipe in and out of the hole but the drilling operation itself looks a whole lot like uh, the walking table pumping units that you still see out on the prairie uh, pumping oil out of the ground you would have a remote power unit and it's going through several flat pulleys and you can see it's you you have a crank on the end of the last pulley that's working the uh, walking table unit and you have counterbalance weights attached to counter for the balance of the uh, drill point going in and out of the ground and then you have the other end just attached to a cable and it's bottom of the cable down in the hole you have the drill point you see here repeatedly going up up and down in the ground and just pound, literally pounding you out a hole in the ground rather than drilling it Now this diagram represents a strata in the ground that we have in Kansas, at least this area of Kansas. And while we're here, we have some models. See, that's a fixed rig. This is the model of type of, type of portable drilling rig that could have been used on a well that didn't go as deep. 
as you can see that one's on a trailer I'll see if I have time there are actual examples of this type of portable drilling rig out in the yard some of them are on trailer and much older than this example some of them are mounted on the back of a truck and on this table we have examples of or models of the type of rotary rig that you're more familiar with and everything that you see here comes in on the back of the truck it's assembled on the site that's pretty much how they do it today fire these up or fire the one up This type of rig actually screws the drill point into the ground and works not very differently than the Black & Decker hand saw. And uh, there you can see, you still have the tall deck because as you go down, of course, you have to uh, add more and more sections to the pipes. You see that the rotary unit at the bottom twists the pipe down into the ground and as you make progress this hoist would lower that pipe down and when the end of that hoist gets down to the bottom then of course you would have to stop everything and hold the pipe, that's what the suspended piece hanging here would be for and then you unscrew the hoist and add one of these other sections of pipe that you can see waiting here in a rack and you screw that on and you start over again <laughs> 